we have for Just Wing It in the grey and pink. One to watch, ladies and gentlemen, an absolute wild card, even on the calmest of days. And then we have the team of Just Drag, another advanced team, another ex racehorse, uh, with Emily on the saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a long, noisy show ahead of you, so you may as well start as you mean to go on with a big round of applause for all the teams of Horseboarding UK. And much like other, uh, much like uh, other horses, ladies and gentlemen, just, these horses are just like little horses at home. In that, the louder you scream, the faster these guys go. So we uh, we're looking for plenty of support. Pick your favourite pony. Pick your favourite colour. Have a little family fun, fun, fun time, fun family bet um, amongst yourselves as we get ready to start the racing here for the first time in uh, the Yorkshire Game and Country Fair. Um, now, you've slowly suddenly you feel the tension. The tension's just built in here, hasn't it? We've suddenly got very tense. Watching right? their okay. faces, they go into the pits, they know it's about to happen, and what a view we have here, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> we'll be able to bring you every single detail that these borders and if horse riders and horses are going through. It down, and uh, it'll be Chill Winston, will be the first team uh, to come out today in the brown, the black and gold hoops around the, around the sleeves. So this is a new, a new horse and uh, a new pairing. Yeah, so it, they, it is Charlie Boss's world record holder, Aidan Beamish, Guinness, Guinness world record holder. He has a world record, a guaranteed, genuine Guinness world record for being the longest jump whilst being towed by a horse. He jumped by nearly well. 10 metres, and it was, it was this horse rider that towed him into that um, Guinness Book of Records history moment. Um, so they're going the two orange gates, ladies and gentlemen. They are what are known as the pre-race gates. They've got to go through those gates before they can go to the race start race gate, which is at the red back boots, the double gates there. Now going down the opening straight for the speed trap, 23 miles an hour into turn one. Blood Rider looks a little bit pulled over the front just for a moment, it was unusual for him. Going into uh, Bruco Corner now and making their way across the horse boarding UK diagonal. Horse pulling hard on the board rider. Again, he stretched his arm a little bit each time as the horse has put that power down. Yeah, there's a big pull on this horse, and Aiden's going to have to get used to that, but he's taking a good line into the chicane, ladies and gentlemen. This is Aiden Beamish on the board, and he's one of the smoothest borders that we have in the sport, and you can already see how he's picking his lines through each corner. Charlie's having to work for Ranji Boom, um, to concentrate more on the Ranji than, than Aiden as they hit 18 miles per hour into that corner, and they'll be putting into the weave now, slowly, nice, nice cornering there from Charlie and Ranji Boom on the weave. By the way, they were 33 seconds Lovely. after the split. Yeah, so the weave is the horse one side, board right the other side, and then swapping over back to red back boots to, to the double gates. Now it's a long lap towards the finish line, ladies and gentlemen. 23 miles an hour again. Aiden waving at the audience there um, as he goes around that top end. And they're not pushing on, they're letting the horse do the running here. And for the finish line, with a time of 73.74 seconds, let's have a round of applause for the team of Chill Winston. Great bit of work there. Uh, it's a great first run for them. No problems with the Ranji, and they took that smooth. And ladies and gentlemen, that's sort of a steady run from them. So we can see it. first run. Uh, this, I mean, that's traditionally how we do, we do a lot. We do the rotations. You start off steady. Obviously, some, some teams do approach that differently and, and go straight out fast. Some go a lot slower. And you're probably going to see one of the newer teams coming now. All the gear, no, no idea. And yeah. so they'll probably take more of a steady um, uh, sort of uh, approach to this racing. But what a race from Chip Winston. Yeah, so all the gear, no idea, now into the arena. They are one of our advanced teams um, and they are racing a slightly different course. They, were, they don't do the weave, basically. They do a big figure of eight with the uh, chicane involved. Um, so they're going through the red back boots, making their way towards the speed trap, 17 miles an hour. And of course, not every team you know, you can't just join in this sport and start at the elite level. You have to build up to it. Um, and this is what this team is doing. And making more and more progress. And, you know, ooh, interesting turn there, ladies and gentlemen. So the board rider just got left behind the turn, risked, uh, the horse made the turn quite sharp, um, drifted out a little bit wide there onto that turn, but now going into the chicane. 
Um, and uh, so that's what they're trying to avoid. They're trying to always keep length, uh, keep tension in the rope. I'm just looking at the handle, it looks like he's short a bit off his legs. Yeah, I think if you notice, uh, he actually changed this, coming into this corner, into the chicane, he, he pulled me in the rope at uh, that time. So he obviously learned from that, uh, all, that top corner there where he almost had a bit of a problem. But it's, uh, it looks like he's sort of struggling to cheese his lines there, Dan, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, it's a very big arena. You've really got to know your lines as you go around. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start calling this party home. Additional Gypsy Cop all the way towards the finish line. And uh, looks looking for the wire with his wheels on fire. He's through the finish line. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the team of all the gear. Yeah, that, as we said, ladies and gentlemen, they are an advanced team, so they don't do the, the weed course, but uh, a slightly simpler course, but uh, still with the chicane, and uh, they really rock that, but a good time down, and a good start for them. Yeah, I mean, good, very good for them. The time was, actually, it was... 17.43. So that's, that's interesting, we've got three teams in that category. Um, so the other teams now know that's the time they've got to beat. And it's good to see these advanced teams being challenged. Uh, Okay, so this is in the green, it's just drag. Um, entering the arena now. This is an experience horse. In the advanced, it needs to earn points and experience to uh, develop up into the elite, as do all the teams. They're board riders and horse riders as well. You can't just go straight into the elite. You have to qualify up. So, um, and this is the first time Emily, Emily passed her assessment on this pony last night. So 12 miles an hour. Um, and it's likely to be using this run as a bit confidence builder because uh, the horse is competing in one of the competition, but with a different rider. Yeah, so the, the horse is very new, and um, Sean and Emily have only been in the sport uh, for a little while as well, so they're going to be learning the combination of this, this new horse and probably building their, their runs up. Uh, Sean's got quite a, a heavy, a heavy old jumper on there, I'm not sure if that does much for his aerodynamics, but they probably won't find that out until they go a little bit faster, because Emily's just working, oh, that's a miss. That's a miss, getting there, making yeah. their way into, into the chicane. So you can already see down there, obviously each team has different agendas, don't they? This team will be just trying to get this horse to get used to this course. And it's, and it's, it's the rider horse combination which is very important. Yeah. Yeah. They've got to be able to get their horse has to have confidence in the rider. The split time is 59 seconds. Um, the horse has to have confidence in the rider. The rider has to have confidence in the horse. It's, they're not, they don't own, like, this horse is not owned by this rider. Oh. And release, 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 yellow card. Oh, she's got it back. Well, they've got that back there, that's some good work for Emily, that might be a yellow card initially, but... Uh, yeah. So, I've just been told that is a uh, yellow card for the referees. Uh, for, for please clear the ambulance coming through, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to say it's good for us. Um, for the finish line, very talented one with a 95, 18, and a yellow card to add to the... Uh, the Title. And there was also well, probably two miss gates, red by boots, which is passing it. Okay. Uh, and a miss gate to add to the time as well. Red by boot being clapped, red back boots being classed as one well gate, as we've been told from the referees. So um, next into the arena. Now, top and tails. They've got really when they came here this weekend, they're second in the championship, eight points behind Chill Winston, they were They've got to be feeling somewhat confident that these teams, that that Chill Winston isn't bringing Winston, uh, but they've also they've also got to get their stuff right. Thank you. Uh, this is a window of opportunity for this team. Uh, they need to pick up some points that they lost at the beginning of the season if they're to compete against Chill Winston. And, and Chill Winston isn't here this weekend, so this is exactly what the, the time they need to arrive. And uh, Little Indy looks well up for it now. Yeah, I don't think Indy's going to give them much choice as to how, well, how fast this race is going to happen. Um, Indy unfortunately does decide often, oh, she can get around the course real quick, but she doesn't always get the board rider around the course. And that's what we're looking for, because you've got it all if you have to finish the race. The throttle's open, ladies and gentlemen, this little pony's going to show you what it's all about now. Into the speed trap, it didn't go off. I cannot believe that didn't go off. That must have been a 26, 27 mile an hour turn. 
Um, and we might need to have a look at that. Great turn through Bruco Bend, all the way across the diagonal, through the horse boarding in the UK flags. Oh, come off the wheel there, I think somewhere come off the bench, come off the other side. Oh, so I think it's a bit of peace, I'm not sure. Uh, an overreach boot, it's an overreach boot, it looks like. Um, <laughs> uh, through to the split time, split time, 32, 31 seconds. She's 31 seconds, and the, um, the that is two seconds up on Chill Winston. 18, Eight, miles, per hour, 18 that's that's miles an hour. Bad. There is reports coming back from the arena that maybe the horse has thrown a shoe, uh, coming for the weave. Three horse, one side, board right on the other side. They're in the race now. Whoa! Big crash, release, release, release. Oh, that was a big one. I don't know what happened then, but that, that was a big crash. An absolute seal dive from Ryan there. <laughs> so, we're straight on with the weave here, so it's really hard to see what happened. But uh, that is unlike Ryan, and to be honest, he usually, well, he hardly ever crashes for a start, but uh, I haven't seen him do that for a little while. That <laughs> was an absolute, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause from Top and Tails there, pushing the limit, finding the edge. Ryan. Yes, mate. Pulling, you, mate. Pulling the grass out of his teeth after that um, face plant into the earth. Uh, some, some, uh, some good pace. Wow, yes. He will be picking bits of grass out of his teeth all evening long. I imagine he's going to be winded after that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a slight walk of shame, but they'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, and they'll probably be doing another really fast one for their second one. So, uh, interesting. So, we have uh, managed to throw a shoe as they uh, run across the diagonal there. Um, now, the rules are that the, horse, all, the horses must be shot when they enter the competition. What they do from that point on is, is okay. they, can, they, can, they can run without the shoe or the lost the shoe, but that's down to the team, it's down, exactly down to the team, and they can, for, they can face some other, um, if it was wet, for example, the, the, uh, the officials would be watching very closely if that was making any sort of sipping, any sort of sipping. Yeah, I mean, Dan, you're the, the, the horse expert. With how much would that affect uh, TNT if they went out with um, a missing shoe like that? Well, I think it's not great. They would agree that it's not great. They're going to lose a lot of the grip because they've got the studs in the other three shoes. Um, so they would have to manage a race to get a time down basically I think I don't think you, you can't really yeah. run it flat out. No. So here we go uh, because just because of the ducking and diving that these teams have to do so first time out now for the team of set their siblings. Um, this is their very first competition in this huge arena for them. Um, and 14 miles an hour, again they are in the advance, 15 miles an hour, so accelerating into the long swooping turn in front of the trees there, and the, classically known as the short end of the arena, but it's about, it's about 90 metres across. Um, coming across the diagonal uh, to the horse boarding at UK flags, and these are the guys who attended one of our training events, or two of our training events, um, through red bike boots, and they're looking pretty good. The board rider doesn't want to get too out of shape, and I think it's very important to get time. Yeah, I really like what the board is doing. He's working the rope, which means he's thinking about slack, which is absolutely massive. And he's looking to get some good lines behind this horse. And uh, I mean, they're looking really smooth. The, the, the rider's checking on, on the border, and uh, they're communicating. Whoa. There's a big pull there, but the board has managed to take that in his core. And uh, this is going to be an interesting, what's that, 14, 14 miles, miles an hour. Now, they're looking really good. They just want to get this time down. Don't overcook it at this point, guys. Get a time, don't crash. Crash on your next run by all means. But if you get this time down, which they have, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the team of Sender Sibley with a 67 85. Puts them into first place in uh, the uh, in that six or seven eight five of this. That puts them puts them two point five eight seconds and they head off just over all the gear, no idea. Uh, which means you got an advanced race, haven't they? Great first run for that team. I mean, you never really know what to expect from new teams, and uh, I mean, those guys are quite young as well, and uh, oh, they looked really, really good. What a, what a way to introduce yourself to the sport. Yeah, now they've got a little bit of confidence. I was a bit concerned as they went around the top end of the arena that maybe... They're going to get a bit excited. Yeah, and their board rider was going to end up falling. But uh, they managed to hold it together, so that's really good for them. I'd like to see what they can do next then. Yeah, so this is the team of Just Wing It, the wild card, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this, this team of capable... Pro oh, we're the fastest team. When I talked about the team that scored 33 miles an hour, there's only one team that's ever done that, and that's this team. Um, but their consistency is 
is somewhat to be desired. So they can do it 33 miles an hour, but at that speed they tend to lose um, brakes and steering. So um, the throttle is, is obviously quite an important part of this game because this game is all about control speed. 21 miles an hour into turn one, allowing the horse out just a little bit. Tara looks like she really wants to run. Um, but she's also got to turn. Very deep line there. Great board riding. I mean, I love the way Sandy boards. He's absolutely fantastic. On his tail, he's one of the best, Dan. He's got all the style. On his heel, he's had struggle. On his heel, he's Very fast you're going, ladies and gentlemen. Let's step up into that corner. Sandy's going to take a big hit here. And he's going to have to take an easy This is aggressive. What an aggressive race this one is. Get something out to show everyone what to do. Okay, so 34 seconds on the split, which means there are second by Jill Winston. 21 miles now and into that turn. Now they've got to get clever. Horse one side, one right on the other side of the three cone weave. And they can't get any touches. And they're clear. Okay, now looking for the final lap, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to call this pony home. And we want to keep the board rider with her. He's all, he's all, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. All the way, 24 miles, 25 miles an hour. Still accelerating. He's using his fingers for grip. He's only on two wheels. Is he going to make the final turn for the finish line? Let's have a round of applause for the final card. Just wing it. What a run. What a run that was. With a time of 71.46. And that puts them into first place. Oh, they just wow. smashed it out of the arena. Sandy looks absolutely from a buzz from that run. <laughs> and they're giving all the love to the horse, and so she should. What a great that pony was. that is. I mean, the thing is, you, you, you've probably heard of the arenas when you're into a big power slide, and it goes on for 80 meters. Dan, I think Sandy just might have the best style for this course. He drifts right round to the corners, and I was watching it from this amazing view we've got. You can see how he's going to attack this course and not really struggle because he's just literally drifting all the way around. I mean, as long as he can keep doing that, that's great. I mean, they went very deep near the Yorkshire team to stand down up. They went deep into that corner and then turned back onto that cone. Will, they, will that horse continue to allow them to do that? Because um, she does like to run the inside cone. And if she, they may have might already got that over on her once. If they don't get that over on her again, they might get into trouble because she might start with cutting the corners a bit tight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the next horse to keep an eye on this is uh, Sally Optimistical. She is a winning X ray horse, and to be honest, one of the most, one of the most beautiful uh, horses when it runs. It runs like it's hydroplaning, flying, it doesn't barely touch the ground when she builds up speed. Now going 20 miles an hour, and as you can see, complete effortless running. Uh, this is not, this is this horse barely stretching its legs. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly cool, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, the first rotation for this team, so uh, the other team. So they're all building up, really, and uh, this is a couple that just um, brought out on TNT. So Ryan's got that to board like this after a crash of the weave, and he's already looking uh, very good. Very different approach to where they came through. This is controlled speed. You can see they're gently putting the pressure on 35 seconds on the split. So just a second behind Chill Winston, a couple of seconds behind, not a lot between any of the teams. Now going into the 15 miles an hour into the quarter flight to corner. Uh, then up from the centre line. Horse one side, board right the other side. Great bit of work there. Beautiful bit of work. Kept all the tension in. And now they're gently building up the speed. And this is this this is not aggressive. You saw the way we were, we were talking about the last team that raced. We're not we're not getting overly excited. 22 miles an hour. It is time to call them home though. They are throttling up a little bit. We're starting to see what that horse is more capable for as she warms up for a second race. Through the finish line with 75 31. Let's have a round of applause for blues and twos who go into second. In the elite, uh, blues and twos, they do not have a time. Top and tails, they, they've got penalty time. Uh, blues and twos are in third, and they are 3.85 seconds away from first place. Chill Winston in second with a 73 74. Uh, they are only 1.58 seconds ahead of blues and twos, and only 2.28 seconds behind. Wigan currently leading the day 
and came in there with a little bit of a surprise, but now we have children coming into the arena. They are, they see what the other teams have done, and now they see what they, now are they going to go out and fully fight? It looks like they might, as they go 24 miles an hour around the top end of the arena. Board rider very high there, board hand, but really high up in the air. Yeah, they tend to do the old Elvis arm to take him when he's struggling around the corners of grip, or actually when he's enjoying himself, I should just say, really. And he certainly is. Everybody gets the Elvis arm out when they're enjoying themselves, and he really is today. As you can, you can take the line he's taken into the chicane is absolutely perfect. I mean, he goes sails through the chicane with no problem at all. So split time coming on, very important. Split time is 31. That was the same as just wing it. But look at the way the difference. This team is going gradual pressure, not going fast on, fast off. They're not being all flat going all over the place. It's a smooth metronomic race, and you can see them just just gradually building the pressure throughout the run. Oh, it's a misplay. That's a four second penalty to add. Um, and let's see what they're going to do. Just run the run off. They're, they're not going to race with a four second penalty. But let's have a round of applause for them, ladies and gentlemen. It is a four seconds to add. Um, it will. So they're just going to run this party around the ring now. Again, just letting the horse run around and use this next training session now. I thought they might come back and do the weave, Dan. Just <laughs> Uh, is, that, is, that, is, is that a horse training suggestion? I know what Charlie's like, there's a little cheeky one in, but uh, no, I mean, I'll be a bit uh, disappointed with that, but they've still got another round to go, ladies and gentlemen, and obviously, as we said, that's a new combination, that horse, so it's already looking great, and uh, to see the potential there is, um, it, it could be good. Wow. Wow. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, the second run. I've uh, got Nick on the board. I was speaking to him backstage, Dan, and uh, he was saying that he's very quite happy with Yeah, well, uh, that sounds like some uh, highly intelligent and uh, deep thinking into uh, the, uh, the, environment, the environment of the sport. Uh, so it's all again now, I did now, making the way down there with the straight towards speed track. 14 miles now. This is an advanced team. What to do? I'm right. What we'll do is we'll pull the advanced yeah, so they're running a slightly uh, simpler course as they did on the first rotations, but uh, they're already looking really smooth now, aren't they? Can't we just pull them? I've seen Nick pull it for a little while, they've been on the sport about a year and a half, and uh, he's really come on leaps and bounds, and his whole team has been basically working on their communication. And they've braced on all sorts of ground now, so they've got a bit of experience under the belt, which they're really starting to show. And this pony gives them a great safe ride, doesn't he, for all the advanced yeah. classes, yeah. not as really an advanced. You know, it's not an elite party, uh, but they may choose, you know, we hope that they take on another party to come and join us in the elite. Yeah, we'll see if they upgrade their engine and, um, and start to go faster, but at the moment this is fine what they're doing, and they're learning the sport and uh, enjoying themselves, which is what it's all about, obviously, is, uh, we all come from quite far away to race each other, and it's a yeah. first round of, uh, uh, they're running on now towards the finish line. Let's uh, cheer this uh, traditional gypsy cock over the line. Ladies and gentlemen, all the gear, no idea. A great team name as well, but a great uh, team. Really enjoying themselves here this weekend. And the wonderful Yorkshire sunshine. Okay, so teams are lined up. Interesting to see how the sun just drives the two now. Um, yeah, I think a difficult time in the first one. Still managed to get a bit around uh, some of the pools without having to see many issues, so we'll have to see. Yeah, that. because we were able to, they were, they were able to correct the pony when the pony stepped out of line, but of course that was a yellow card because it indicates a uh, lack of control, yeah. um, or yeah, it wasn't where they intended to go, so therefore the yellow card system to jump in. There's several systems, ladies and gentlemen, yellow card, orange and um, red. The uh, yellow cards uh, are there for anything that might be slightly unsafe. The orange cards are there to make sure that the horses stay calm. One of the biggest problems we have in this sport is horses getting overexcited. So um, if we see a horse start to exhibit overexcitement, then um, all stress or fear, or any of those sorts of scenarios, then um, the orange cards are, are put into place. And the reason that they're there is to prevent horses escalating to an extent where they are actually genuinely um, either afraid or just overexcited and, and doing silly things. Um, and of course the red cards there are to stop uh, races when necessary and to, and also as a medical red. Um, and 
you might, might sure, but we have to give the board riders medical red cards, ladies and gentlemen, when they have an accident, to, because they all miss the time that they're fine, even if they've got bits hanging off. Um, now you can see this team, uh, this is what we would refer to as a schooling run. Yeah, you took the words out of my mouth, Dan, and they're doing the right thing here. They're just making sure the pony's happy and uh, finding its way around the course. And obviously, uh, Emily can uh, make that connection with the horse, uh, which um, is all part, part of bringing them through the novice and uh, the advanced team courses. Yeah, I mean, I think exactly uh, there's an awful lot going on here. I mean, you wouldn't see a dressage competition or a show competition with quite so many guns going off. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot going on, there's the sound, and we, and we, well, we, we enjoy that, you know. Um, my bike rounds with, with horses in film, TV, and stunt shows, jousting, trip riding, and uh, the horses don't need to be fearful. 64, 64 seconds on the split, they don't need to be fearful of the crowd, they don't need to, uh, what's it, and performing horses like that tend to enjoy the crowd, enjoy the good energy once they're confident with it, uh, because it means they're doing a good job. So uh, this horse now, and, and this time, she hasn't left the track in any way, she hasn't had any control issues, she's kept it under a nice, nice controlled pace, and that's exactly what we want to see from the team. Controlled speed, and ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Just Drive, demonstrating how uh, to help the education of the horse there, past the competition, and that's sometimes what teams just have to do. Uh, yeah, very good schooling run from that team. Um, it, it's all about control, obviously, it, it comes across like it might be about let's go as fast as you can, and, uh, but you've got to keep the border, and it's the only way you can really do that around these tight uh, technical courses is with lots of control and, and power mixed in, but okay. uh, we'll see what these other teams can do. So we've got a serious race coming out now, ladies and gentlemen. This is the team of the top and the tails. Saw them, they had an amazing run. Top and Tails is one of the few teams that can get the horse and the border through the weave in under or in two seconds flat. So that's the whole team through the obstacle in less than what two seconds flat is the fastest time that we've recorded them do it at least. Um, we are keen, ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats because Lil Indy is going for it now. Down this opening straight into the speed trap at 21 miles an hour. Off the pace slightly, looks as though they're pulling back just a touch. It's Brian maybe suffering after that first hit, do you think? Yeah, maybe he's taken a bad call. They just want, want to get down in time because they do have a, a, another run after this. So and usually they don't take that as a... Indy hasn't oh. got that much in the tank, but... Oh, of course, we've just been, of course, she lost the shoot in the previous run. So oh, this, is yes, a, yes. this is a managed run. This is a, let's get a run down. Um, the shoes, the shoes already, um, uh, we've already pulled the shoes. So they will be looking for a variant between heats. Into this split time at 35 seconds. So even, even off the pace, it's still putting down a good, good, good time. Yeah, it's a proactive run as they go to the corner there. 50 miles per hour. You can see that Ryan is a very Demonstrating the throttle building up now a little bit, trying to take off a little bit of time. 24 miles an hour, throttle still opening up. Stretching, stretching, stretching the pony for the finish line. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be here around of applause for Top and Tails through the finish line at 75 49. Puts them into fourth place. So that's kept them. They've got a time on the board now, yeah. um, but they're in fourth place. They are only 0.18 of a second behind losing twos in third place. Which is their other team, and that's so that is ridiculously close. Yeah. 0.18 of a second. So basically, what we're saying there is that A. Richards has taken two horses around this arena, uh, and both of them back to the back to the over the finish line. I mean, we've seen them do some amazing things. So we're pushing the races on the way that we build. This might overrun us a little bit. Here we go. It is now. It's going to be interesting. We don't want these guys to get too excited now, do we? Or too confident. Uh, we want them to start building up their, their pace and their ability. So it is the team of Send It Siblings. Uh, 15 miles an hour, currently sitting in first place in the uh, advance. Um, and 
And uh, look, so this team would be really good up against the Nightmares. Yeah, sure. I mean, they would be great already. It'd be interesting to see how they push on because they had a very good first run. Uh, but they should take it as experience. They're in the lead. At the moment, um, I don't think we, the two other teams are taking steady runs. Yeah. Just drags having to deal with you know, bring the party on. And all of you know the invitation don't have the same amount of likes as this party, if you want to say. Yeah. Um, so, the, um, so really, they should just use this as experience now. Just develop that pace. They've, they've, taken, they've got 10 points in this heat. Yeah, just keep doing what they're doing. I mean, yeah. you can see the border and looking really confident. Oh, 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 14 miles per hour. He's taking quite a wide line there, but you do have to do that as you come into the week. Oh, well, usually it's comes to the week on the elite, but this is obviously the advance. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a brother and sister team for the finish line. Send his siblings a round of applause. Second rod. And Great run. They look, they look even better than the first. Oh, it's, really, it's, it's really good to see it, like a new team coming through like that, and just looking so confident and controlled and that they can handle it and, um, and obviously there's so much going on here so for a new team to come out and do that is twice the way fantastic. And what a good horse as well, what a good horse. So the whole team there just very happy and very much into it. Yeah. I think, I mean, we definitely want to see more of these guys. Yeah, the future of the horse there. Um, because you give them, give them three or four events. They're going to be flying around this track. Yeah, they will be absolutely be flying. And they will be, I imagine they will be qualified up into the elite pretty quick. Um, so, is that, is that clip alright? So here comes uh, the wild card that we always say is just wing it in the pink. And uh, they put down a really good, uh, a really good time. So on the first one, they could go even faster this time. I imagine, and uh, we do see them lose control sometimes when they hit the top speed. So I have a little theory about Sandy on this course. I'm really sure. On the release. I mean, he might be the perfect corner for this square arena, the way he draws his style. Um, so they are not going out very fast, and they are releasing. Oh, tactical! Very tactical. That was a tactical run, ladies. And oh, that was a bit of a surprise. I'm glad though, because I was a bit concerned about the flip uh, on the back of horse. So that was a t what they've done there, ladies and gentlemen. Is they've not wanted to withdraw. They're in first place, which means they have the bonus points. Yes. That's what they're doing. They're playing, so the game. they're playing the game. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you win the heat on your first time that you set you get an extra bonus point. So rather than having 10 points, you finish the heat with 11. However, if any other team, including yourself, beats you, you lose that bonus point. So what they've just done is they've taken their horse through the start line to start their race because they cannot retire. They've taken it through the start line, um, started their race, retired from that race, which means that their second run, um, it doesn't count, basically. But they're gambling on either nobody taking third place off them, or that they'll have one more chance at the end of this, this heat to run their next the last race. Yeah, their first run was really aggressive, really proactive, and uh, very competitive, so why not try and see what the other team can do? Throw the ball in their court, and let them have a bit of the pressure on their backs. And uh, this team, uh, coming out next to Winston, uh, sorry, not to Winston, uh, Susan 2, will have a bit of pressure on to, to beat their other team, but also just wing it now with the bonus point. And you can see, like, this is the, this is the part of the, uh, this was the training where we had to learn how to get the horses to calm down and hook up with the, with the border. And you can see now that Sally's quite excited. This is an excitement thing. And uh, well, good work for Anita. That was like a jump start. It was like pushing your motor down the hill, wasn't it, to get it started? It That's like... why she's the best. <laughs> so this is Optimistical from the teams of um, Blues and Twos. They were currently in third place. They are 3.85 seconds behind in first place. The uh, advanced have been retired, I'm hearing, so which means now it's just the elite team still in the race. Um, and another boot comes off, it's uh, uh, brushing 26 miles an hour into that turn. It's oh, talking ridiculous. Um, for Bruco Band and looking for the horse boarding at UK Diagonal. 
Oh, that's a very wide corner. Oh, he's right, he's been taking that on the on the hip, but he's uh, grabbing right up the rope and now preparing for this corner into the chicane. And this uh, bit more control has come on down. Yeah, this must be quite awkward for the pony because the pony is loving the open, the open ground to really stretch, but then she's having to get on the corners, on the brakes in the corners. Split time, 30 seconds on the split, so they're a second up on the fastest so far. Just wing it might have to come out and defend that bonus point, or well, they'll lose the bonus point, but defend that first place. Now going into the uh, centre line, horse one side, board right the other side. A lot of work, putting a lot of pressure into this ground, into the weave. Very smooth, that's a beautiful weave. Now ladies and gentlemen, there's one more lap to go. They've got a time of 71.46 to meet. And it's time to start calling them home as this X-Race horse and look at it Aquaplane now as it absolutely hydrofoils. Oh my word, this is very fast. Hold on to your head hats, ladies and gentlemen. Through the finish at 66.81. What a speed, what a time. That is just five seconds ahead of the closest competitor. That pony is some really fast pony. We have heard that she's lost her shoe, I believe, at the beginning oh, of the race, so... I think she needs a new farrier. Yeah, she and Ryan not doing well with <laughs> shoes today, but what a great run from them with only three shoes as well. I'm being told, yeah, I, I, I saw a boot, a Russian boot come off, but I didn't see the shoe. Um, and was hearing calls on that note, so maybe it was just the Russian boot that came off. Okay then, so great for them losing two to going to the first place, as they are 4.65 seconds ahead of just winging who took that gamble we were on their second run, yeah. didn't they? But they're now sitting in second place, um, and uh, Tom Tails have retired, Chill Winston are still in it, they're in the game now, so we've got a few more races to go now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, is, is uh, Orangi ready to take on this pressure? She's seven seconds behind the leaders at the moment. And there's Charlie Bus letting the rain go. 25 miles an hour into turn one. Moving on towards uh, Bruco Bend there and cutting for the diagonal. Oh, very deep line. All the, all the horse riders taking a deep line into that Yorkshire Tees corner. Now going over towards the Red Bank Boot. This is great work. Eight, nine, ten, and win the first heat against these Goliaths. 13 seconds on the split, Gol split. Goliaths of the uh, horse boarding teams. It looks like that's exactly what she's trying to do. 18 miles an hour into that turn and looking for the three cone weave. And you would expect, let's just see what oh, happens. I don't think so, I don't think that's how I'm doing. In fact, no, let's have ourselves a little audience. Oh, it's clean, Dan. That's brilliant. The first time they've done that with the last run. So they're really going to push on now. They're going to have to, ladies and gentlemen, get behind this team. They're going to have to make up that time and go for it now. 23 miles per hour. All the run into Bruco Ben. Elvis Arm coming up from Aiden, but very smooth. Around he's slightly running out of path, but Charlie's getting right over the line. With a time of 68-98, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause of the Chill Winston, Chill Winston, who moved into second place. Just wing it, who were in first, have now been pushed down into third place. Just wing it are oh, 2.48 seconds away from Chill Winston and they are 4.65 seconds away from Blues and Twos who are now in the lead. So we have had two leaders and uh, now ladies and gentlemen we're going to see a very big race. Yes, we have got to come down with here swinging surely Dan. Yeah, this they, is their chance. Sandy is looking for the crowd support. Remember these are just like your horses at home. This last race. Okay, so we have two more races to run. This one and one more. Remember, the louder you cheer, the faster these guys will go. And these guys are already pushing the red line limit. And uh, this is going to be a fast, a fast run, I would warrant. They're looking for a sub-70, sub-66.81 to take first place. And she's down like she's riding a motorbike through that hurdling straight down into the bird. 27 miles an hour into turn one, ladies and gentlemen. He's already on two wheels. Oh my word! Look what a turn that is. Now look for this. Oh my goodness! Cone's gone flying! It's a, two se it's a one second penalty, so it's only one, se one they second to add. They can make that up with speed. Oh my gosh, this fast. Oh my word. Oh. Through the Okay. Over the place, he's sliding no grip going at that speed, oh. he's still managing to hold it. And they're going to the 90 here. Split time with 28 oh, seconds, going to run through and release. 
Well, that was the scariest 30 seconds of my life. Um, <laughs> the round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for just winging it, uh, because that was a great bit of work from the team, and that is that's the full commitment, pushing the limits. You literally don't have any grip. Man, that is that USP for that team is literally what you just saw. <laughs> they go through the whole thing at top speed, plowing through everything, but you'd love to see it. Love wow, see it. wow. Um, yeah, what a team. Uh, so, one more race to go by the looks of it. It is Blues and the Twos, currently in first place. They're in first place, so um, I mean, I'm guessing this is going to be an exercise run. I would imagine this would be a training run. They don't have to take it, um, but they are. They've won the heat already, um, so just let them know that they've won the heat already. So they've, they've, they've won the heat already. They've, they've won the heat already, so they're going to. It looks like. Uh, so get ready for the carousel. Cause they might just do a little bit. Oh, okay. Get ready for the carousel. Get ready for the carousel. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a victory lap uh, down I mean, the I'd be surprised if, they, if they're going to go flat out with this. I would think they would use it yeah, as yeah, yeah. a, a time to, to let the horse have a little chill run. Um, because, as I said, they've got... Oh, no, oh, ladies so and gentlemen, they want a race. Oh, my word, what are they doing? They're already one in the speed trap at 26 miles an hour. They want to work out how fast they can go and how far they uh, can do this, trying to beat their own time, ladies and gentlemen. They love this arena so much that they want to keep racing. A lot of weight there on the outside of the turn as the border goes dragged out by the centrifugal force going through the red back boots into the chicane. Oh my goodness, show 21 seconds so far, really showing just wing it's I think this is a, a mind game going for the split time at 28 seconds. Exactly what just wing it did, except these guys haven't got a touch as yet. Going through the speed trap once again, 16 miles an hour, looks like to me, for the center line. Horse one side, board right the other side. Oh, I got my one. It's going to be... Oh, oh, Ryan, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. They didn't even need to do it and they just shaved up four seconds off their fastest time. That was stamping on everybody's head when it wasn't even necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause for all the teams that they've out. Can I see the advance, please? So in the advanced class, Just Drive came in third term, the Old Gear came in second, and Send It Siblings in their first heat came in first. What a run for them. It's going to have their backs, they don't need that. Um, then in the elite, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Tom Tails in fourth, just winning in fourth in third, Jill Winston in second, and Blues and Twos in first. We will be back later on this afternoon at 3.30 for more crazy antics with these ponies. For now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to escort these ponies out of the arena. Please give them a wide berth as they come down the tunnel there. <coughs> be ready with that horse, Ian! Go with that horse. Go on. Good, good man. Uh, if you're interested to follow us on Facebook, by all means, and all the social medias, we also do uh, live, uh, as well as we film this, but we also have this Spotify uh, podcast. We will be doing an episode between the two heats and again this evening.